Jeremy Lynch and Stephen Tries got into a little dispute a couple of years ago and it's part of YouTube history. I wanted to cover it in a little throwback story to go in depth about responses after and the whole situation. So Jeremy Lynch went from being on Britain's Got Talent in 2008 doing his freestyle football skill moves to being one of the biggest YouTubers in the UK. Him and his friend Billy formed a channel called F2 Freestylers which is on 13.3 million subscribers to this day. And as for Steven, he's a big part of the YouTube community. He's got his own channel with over a million subs and does a lot of comedy sketches and also can be seen in the Sidemen videos like the one where he roasts them. These two characters clashed. I'd say Jeremy at this time in his life was taking himself a little too serious and flexing. He come into a lot of money. Their channel was doing well and Stephen was the opposite. He didn't take himself serious at all and it'll be evident these guys are opposites in an interview where Stephen was poking jokes and Jeremy made it very awkward for him. And what is the hungry professor? <laughs> oh, just, just nutting everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the nutty professor. I've put the hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it's really tight to end this shoot. Oh. So this was. Um, <laughs> Is this all part? Is this postable? Stephen would then make a diss track at the F2 freestylers. It wasn't just because of this video and awkward situation, it was the way they said Jeremy behaved, bragging about a Lamborghini and talking certain ways, and was seeming stuck up to other YouTubers that were coming around him. Stuff like when he was at Arsenal, he said that the people at the club said he was the best there on the ball, even though there were some legendary players. They said, on the ball. You're the best at the whole club, including the first team. I was only 15 at the time. The best. His whole football channel is based around football. It's all he does is play football. And there will be these Wembley Cup tournaments he was involved in. And he was just overly competitive when he was a footballer and the rest were just YouTubers. Yeah. 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 And rather than doing it himself, I want these cups, he'll be in the background while his friend directly goes at Steven as a crowd of people film and gather around them. Before True Geordie steps in and breaks up the situation. Hey, 70 subs, 75 subscribers, man. If you hit, when you get that, you're, mate, you're so, you've okay. got no talent, bro. Oh. Where's your future going? Mate, if you do a tweet where's your future and going? you get 100 likes, Where, maybe I'll reply tweet, to you. Man, fuck your tweet and your shitty sh Bro, you're dead. You're dead, bro. Relax, man. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't, don't touch me. Of course, I'm going to get personal. Don't mate, touch me, bro. Is everything all right? Is everything all right? I think you need to fucking calm the fuck. That was Jeremy and Hacks that confronted Steven, the YouTuber, about the situation. They got a lot of negative backlash for it. True Geordie also stepped in after at the end and broke it up, and he spoke about it with them on his podcast. It was, it was Jeremy's mate who come across as the biggest bell end in that video. But even with yeah. Jeremy, I think there's a mom. We all accept that the kid's talented and he's got a lot of things to. to yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's right. relatively very quite, successful. Would you very say successful. he's caught? I because I look at Jeremy and I've spoken to a lot of people out and I go, but I I like I don't think Nessa. I mean, came across a dick. But I don't think what he did was like, oh, get rid of Jeremy Lynch. Well, I, I think the bastard. problem with, the problem is for Jeremy is over the years there were so many times where little things like that had happened to so many different people that he'd been on shoots with and the, the little things and they mount up and eventually. A whole group of people went, should we, we, should we just get him? Yeah. Should we get him? Yeah. They didn't really get a response from Jeremy to the whole situation. He didn't really address it. But the guy hacks who got the most backlash spoke about it in a three-minute video, which I'll play for you guys now. I never, ever thought I'd be doing a video like this, but here goes, man. Guys, firstly, I'm going to start off by saying thank you so much to all of you for your messages of love and concern. Now, I really do appreciate that, man. It helped me a lot. But secondly, I just want to explain what's been going on the last week or so and why I haven't been active much on any of my socials. So two years ago, I got into a verbal altercation at an organised sport event and this altercation lasted the best part of a few minutes. 
Um, and in this altercation, in this beef or whatever you want to call it, I said some things that some people took offense to. And I really do apologize for that. I'm so sorry for that. But please correct me if I'm wrong. Most human beings, when they're angry or they're in an agitated state, they say things that they don't actually mean. Um, and that is definitely the case for me on that day. But again, I want to sincerely apologize to anyone that has been offended by my words or my actions either on the day. So that's anyone that was involved or anyone that's now watched um, the footage that was released of, of, of last week. In two years... I have to be really honest with you, I have had a lot of personal growth and on my part, I've learned a lot and there's things I wouldn't say now that I did back then. And at the end of the day, like I said before, you know, I am human. Anyone that knows me, anyone that really knows me, knows that I'm not that way inclined and it was just a really tough day. You know, loads of emotions, loads of words and digs thrown about. It was, it was just mad, it was mad, it was football, the tempers were high. But also to anyone that sent me hate mail and death wishes, like I'm so hurt by that man. And I'm sorry you felt compelled to say those things to me, but you know, you did and it's gone now. But I'm also super, super disappointed in the UK scene, you know, meaning Instagram pages, man. They're being so quick to jump on the bandwagon just to gain views of someone else. And that was like a kick a man when he's down sort of thing. But, you know, I'm human. And I will make mistakes, but I'll learn from them and how to conduct myself, especially in situations like that again, you know. So I will apologise for that. But I'll end it on this. Um, we defo, defo need to change the mentality of the youth today, man. We are influencers, so let's influence, you know, the kids. Influence the kids the right way and not make them trolls. You know, perfectionism doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. So let's not make the kids think that, do you know what I mean? Let's let them know that things will go wrong and how to deal with them. But once again, massive apologies to anyone that is offended. Now it's time, I'm not going to lie, for me just to get back to doing what I love, man. And that's making people laugh. You know, this video set me back a little piece. Um, and it really, really did upset me. And yeah, that's why I took time off social media, you know. Because at the end of the day, man, I couldn't... I just, I just didn't like the bad energy. I really didn't. And... It's done now. It is done. Um, it's water off a duck's back. It's swept under the carpet. But like I said, again, to the guys on the day, to anyone involved, anyone that was in that video, that was behind the camera, that was in front of me that day, I'm holding my hands up and I'm apologising to every single one of you. I don't need to mention names because you know who you are, but I sincerely do apologise for my actions on that day. That wasn't me and it will never happen again, man. So... Love to all of you guys, man. Man Like Hacks is coming back, definitely. Love, love, love. That's it for this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you want to see more videos like this.